Praise the Lord. I want to take this time to specially thank our pastors and ministers for the opportunity that's been given to me to bring the word today. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Um, before we go into the word, let's say a quick prayer. Let's pray. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for a wonderful day like this. We thank you for another opportunity for us to celebrate our children. We say thank you, Lord, for each and every one of them. We thank you, Lord, Father, for today. Thank you for using them mightily as vessels in your hand. We say thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that even as you bring your word to us today, we pray, speak to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Meet each and every one of us at the point of our needs in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak to us expressly today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord, children. All right. Are you excited to be here today? All right. All right. Um, before uh, Today we have a very exciting, interesting topic. But before we go into that, I want to ask children a very quick question. All right. Uh, I don't know if you can have the mic. Um, can I have one or two kids tell me what you love the most? What is your most favorite thing? What do you love? Okay. Quickly. Just one second. God. You love God. Very great. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. I love I love God and I love Jesus. Very good. I love God and I love Jesus. Wow. <laughs> what do you love or who do you love? What do you love most? I love my I love my mom. Oh wow! <laughs> I love my mom too. <laughs> I love my mom and I love Jesus. Wow! Go on. Okay. I love God and Jesus. Wow! <laughs> I love my mom and I love my Jesus. Wow! <laughs> I love Jesus. Great. I love Jesus and God. Wow. <laughs> All right. Is anybody raising their hand? I don't want to miss anyone. Okay. I love Jesus and God. Wow. I love God and Jesus. Wow. Faramid. Well, Love God and Jesus. Wow, clap for yourself, everyone. You all give very good answers. Good job. I love God. You love God, David. Very good, very good. Well, very awesome answers, very great answers. But do you know that the way you love God, the way you love Jesus, the way you love your mommy, your daddy, your, your, your sisters, God's love is far greater than that. God loves us so much than the way we love our mommy and our daddy and our sisters, right? God loves us so much. And that's why today we are going to be looking at a very special topic. The topic says, the love of God. What is the topic? The love of God. The love of God. We're going to be going into the scripture, uh, the book of Luke, chapter 15, verses 1 to 7. Luke, chapter 15, verses 1 to 7. I'll read. Now the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to him. And the Pharisees and the scribes grumbled, saying, this man receives sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable. What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me. Um, rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than, than over 99 righteous persons who need no repentance. Praise the Lord. This is a very popular scripture. It's a parable of the lost sheep. It's a parable of the lost sheep. So Jesus Christ was telling a parable. A parable is just like a story. Jesus was telling a parable of the lost sheep about a shepherd who had how many sheep? 100. 100 sheep. And out of these 100 sheep, one got lost. And if one got lost, how many is remaining? 99. 99 sheep was remaining. And so because of his love for that lost sheep, he left the 99 sheep and went to look for the, the lost sheep. He searched far and wide. He went into dangerous places. 
into the hills and valleys everywhere, into terrain that is dangerous, different areas looking for the sheep. And he never gave up hope. Even though it took him a long time looking for this lost sheep, he didn't give up hope. He didn't get tired. He didn't say, I'm tired. Well, that just one. Anyway, I still have 99. That one can go. Did he say that? No. He went. He didn't give up hope. And he went about looking for the lost sheep. After so much effort, he found the lost sheep. And what did he do when he found the lost sheep? He rejoiced. He was so happy because he found the, the lost sheep. He put it on his shoulders. And he called his friends and neighbors and said, Rejoice with me because I have found my lost sheep. All right. So the conclusion of this parable, of this story says, There is so much rejoicing in heaven. When one sinner that was lost is found, praise the Lord. This parable is just likened to us. The shepherd is, represents God. And the sheep represents us, all of us. The sheep represents us. So if any of us is lost, in, lost means if somebody goes doing bad things, or maybe, maybe you lied once in a while, or maybe you did something that is bad, do you think God will give up on you? No, he will not give up on you. He will make sure that he finds us to bring us back to, the, into, to order, right? To bring us back to do the right things, right? All right, before I go into the key points, I have three key points here I want to share with you. I want us to see a video, a quick video, about this parable that we just learned just for reinforcement. Um, the media is going to help us roll uh, the video real quick. If you're tall or short, if you're a man or a woman, if you're a boy or a girl, God loves everybody. God loves everybody regardless of our differences. God loves, just like the drama we just watched, God loves the professor as much as he loves joy, irrespective of their own perspective, right? God loves everybody. Praise the Lord. God's love embraces each and every one of us. The book of John, verse three, John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Praise the Lord. So God's love is inclusive. He loves everybody. The second point is God's love is unconditional. Unconditional. Praise the Lord. It doesn't matter if you are the best kid in class, if you are not. It's unconditional. God loves us equally, everybody, all of us. God's love is unconditional. His love remains constant. He loves us irrespective of if he made a mistake yesterday, he still loves us. If, he, if you are the most perfect person, he still loves us. So his love is unconditional. It does not matter who we are. It doesn't matter if people do not like us, but God still loves us unconditionally. In this. 
that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So you see, his love for us is unconditional. There's no condition to it. He didn't say that if you are the perfect person, then I will love you. If you, if you uh, otherwise, I will not love you. Even while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So this shows to us that God's love for us is unconditional. And the last one, which is very important, kids, are you listening? Another thing about the God's, God's love is that God calls us so that we will love others. We will love everybody around us. God calls us so that we can love others. So when we understand how much God loves us, you can imagine what God is expecting of us, right? Does God expect us to be mean to others? Does God expect us that when somebody does something bad to you, you want to retaliate and fight back? No. God loves us. He calls us. He loves us so that we can give back out of his love for, to other people. Can anybody tell me here, how can we show love to others? How can we give back out of God's love? Just a few people, uh, just five seconds each. How can we show love to others? By helping others. Very good. By picking up trash. Oh, nice. Good, good. By being kind to others. Perfect. Very good. Good example. By not caring what they do to you, but always loving them. Always loving them. Very good answer. Always love God, even, even, and pray even if, even if you don't want to. Yeah, even if you don't feel like it, right? Pray for others. Very good. I love that. By loving our mommies and daddies. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> Saving the entire world from a big threat. Oh, very nice. That's oh. a great scientist there. Nice. <laughs> How can we show love to others? Being kind to others. Being kind to others. Very important. Thank you. Chimamanda. Don't pass trash on the, f on the herb. Don't pass? No, no, I mean, don't put, I mean, don't put the trash in the earth. Don't put trash in your hair. So take care of the earth. Very good, very good. That's how to show kindness to others. Very good. Clap for yourself, everybody. Good answers. I love that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we can share God's love by being a good friend, by showing kindness. All the answers you have given today, these are the ways that we can share. In fact, I learned so much from you guys. I, I really am blessed today. Praise God. So God is expecting us to share his love to others. He expects us to treat others the way that we love to be treated, right? He wants us to treat others as we exactly how we want to be treated. So let's remember that God's love is not just for us. It's for us to share with other people. Praise the Lord. 1 John 4 verse 11 says, Dear friends, 1 John 4 verse 11, Dear friends, since God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. We ought also to love one another. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So today we have learned about the love of God. The love of God is so big. The love of God is inclusive. The love of God is unconditional. And God has called us to love others. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's always remember this as we go from our day-to-day -day activities, as we go to our school, as we go to work, as we, go to, as we do everything we need to do. We also always have to remember this point about the love of God. I pray that God will help us. The Holy Spirit of God will always remind us about his love for us and his expectation of us to spread his love unto others. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's spend a minute to bow down our heart, bow down our heads to pray about the word that we have heard today. Let's pray to God. Let's pray to God that God will help us to cultivate the habit of loving others. That God should give us his spirit, his heart, put his heart, his spirit in our heart, that we will always love others, irrespective of who, who they are, irrespective of how they treat us, that we should treat them well. We should be kind to them in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, give us the help, a help of heart of God to cultivate the habit of loving others. Let's pray to God that God will give us his spirit. God will fill us with his spirit so that we can love others even as God has loved us in the name of Jesus. Let's also, pr also pray that God will always constantly remind us of how much he loves us so that we will appreciate his love for, uh, for our lives every day in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.